everyone, welcome back to Starting with Stella. Come and join me today and let's have a look at General Yetting's residence here in Macau. This place is located on the intersection of Ruma do Almirante Costa Cabral with Estrada de Adolfo Loreiro. This is reachable by walking straight for two minutes from Lowly Milk Garden. And this is a simple western style home with 180 square meters that stands out because of its wall painted in yellow and a spacious patio out front. Now you might not know General Lieting, but if you're um, interested in history and China affairs, then you'll probably want to hear about him. General Yeting, who lived between 1896 and 1946, was a Chinese general who lived in Macau for a portion of his life along with his wife and children, most of them born in the region. This is the living room where um, original photographs of the family are um, on display. This is a spacious living room with traditional um, furnitures donated mostly by the family itself. I love the uh, how the colorful floor tiles complement the wall painting and it stands out. This place is considered a monument and a classified building. When the family left in 1942, the space started being used in the early 1950s by associations to hold activities related to Chinese nationalist organizations. It was then used as an office for the General Association of Chinese Students of Macau and then later, a Macau Women's General Association's kindergarten. In 2011, the latter granted the property to the local government. Back in 2006, on the occasion of the General's 110th anniversary and 60 years past his death, the local government decided to renovate the building's exterior and put up a plaque in his name. The House Museum opened its doors in 2014 with pre-admission exhibitions on the former General, as you can see on the walls. There's so many memorabilia of the family here, pictures of um, General Yeting and his wife and his children. And we can also see the showcase of um, kitchen utensils and um, furniture back then. Comprised of living and dining rooms and a working area, the former residence ground floor is spacious and it's filled with information and details concerning the commander's family life. Back then, when you have a big family, you need to have a big pot like this. These are old thermos where you can keep hot water and also uh, on the other side is um, a water um, container where you can keep water cold on the other hand. Now these are donated kitchen utensils on display. Now let's head to the second floor which is reachable by a set of stairs. 
you can see that the wooden staircase is uh, made of solid wood and so beautiful and along the stairs we can see pictures lined up in the wall and it's all got to do with the family and general getting The house is truly well preserved and there's so much light coming in from the windows. Now this is the study area and it showcases a lot of memorabilia from the family including this sculpture of General Yetting's wife. And there's also some vintage camera on the table and some memorabilia from um, General Yetting's firstborn son. A lot of materials you can see here are from the son of General Yetting. His name is Ye Sengda, who lived between 1927 to 2017. He was a Lieutenant General of the People's Liberation Army Air Force and also had served an important role in the China's first aircraft designing office, Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, where he was part of the team that created the country's first trainer jet, the Shenyang JJ-1. These are um, his creations on display. He was part of this. Look at this original vintage watch. Awesome. let's go take a look at the master's bedroom this um, wooden bed is donated by General Yetting's son and this is um, original dresser big bed I wonder how they fit in back in those days with nine children General Yeting was one of the founders of China's People's Liberation Army. However, the former general is best known for being a commander in the National Revolutionary Army, the military section of the Kuomintang. Nicknamed Sun or Zi, he was dubbed the Aryan General due to his efforts and achievements during the first years of the 20th century, a historical time for the development of China as a country. In 1924, he went to the Soviet Union to further his studies. The year, he also started in the Chinese Communist Party. He also enhanced his military knowledge at the Institute of Red Professors in Moscow. To understand his importance in history, one needs to go back to both the 1911 revolution and the Northern Expedition, two crucial phases in China's past. The first is perhaps the most important moment. It marks the end of imperialism in the country, with the last emperor, Pu Yi, of Qing Dynasty being overthrown. Yeting played a vital role in this happening. He was the commander behind the battalion that broke through Wu Chang. An important date to memorize is October 10, 1911, when the Wu Chang uprising took place. Pu Yi was only six years old when he abdicated the throne in February 1912. This started a whole new era for China, ending the 2,000-year imperial period they've been under. The person behind the event is Sun Yat-sen, 
an equally relevant name in the history of China, and with lots of references in Macau, namely Streets and House Museum. Yeting joined Sun Yat-sen's Kuomintang in 1919 and in 1921 became a battalion commander for the group's armed forces, National Revolutionary Army. In the meantime, he also lived in Europe for some time before returning to Asia. It was then that he started his Macau chapter. Yeting's past in Macau was brief, yet worthy of keeping his memory alive in the region. The former general lived in Macau for seven years starting in 1927 after marrying his wife Li Xuwen in Guangdong. It was also in this two-story high building, now a house museum, that the couple had seven of its nine children. They moved to Macau because of the city's safer and more stable environment, socially and economically speaking. Between 1939 and 1941, Yeting commanded a unit of National Revolutionary Army, the new Fourth Army that was managed by the Communist forces. The general ended up being detained in the aftermath of the new Fourth Army incident in January 1941. Yeting was tried at a military tribunal and jailed for five years. Unfortunately, he died in 1946 victim of a plane crash along with his wife on the way to Yunnan in Shangxi, China. Photographs you are seeing are General Yeting in action. So this is our tour of General Yeting's residence. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a bit about the history and who General Yeting is. I've enjoyed going to these um, old houses. Um, I just stumbled upon this place. I really don't know what it was when I entered it. And then I just started asking around um, with the guard, um, asking um, who General Yeting is. And then I looked up some more materials on the internet. This is a cool place to see um, if you get to Macau. Um, it is quite a hidden place um, like I just stumbled upon it but I'm very grateful that I found it and um, now we're having a tour and I hope you guys enjoy this video This is the city close to the market. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. See you on the next one. Bye.